if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is August the 2nd, 2022, and today the topic is perfection. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope that you all had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Uh... Well, I mean, it was blessings that happened yesterday, so thank and praise God for the for the blessings that came on through. You know how uh, sometimes you're like, well, Lord, the bills is due <laughs> and everything like that. At least, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you understand me, you feel me where I'm coming from. You know, when we be talking to the Lord, like, well, Lord, you know, the bills is due, X, Y, and Z. Um, and there was just a few things that I know that I needed to happen this week. Uh, in order for some stuff next week to go go forth, you know. And by the grace of God, you know, God came through again. You know how the song go, ooh, we another blessing. Well, yep, 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 another blessing came on through yesterday. So thank you, praise God for that. Um, And yeah, man, you know, so so that that's a bit of good news or whatnot. And then, I don't know, I guess... Even though yesterday I did take some time, I had to take some time midday and rest a little bit because I think maybe the getting up early plus the whatever, just probably a combination. Maybe I stayed up late the night before. I don't know, but I was super tired midday. Um, By the time I took a little nap, I think NJ took a little nap, you know, I was able to kind of, you know, get on track with a few things that I had needed to do. Like, I mean, well, one shout out, look, shout out to me yesterday. (laughs) Cause I was trying to get back on track with, um, you know, basically feeding NJ at certain times. And so, cause I kind of been slacking off on that once, uh, hubby started working from home. So I was like, well, let me get back on doing what I used to do when you wasn't here. <laughs> and that was like, you know, give, you know, NJ a meal at certain times versus like any time. So I was getting back on track with that. After I took my nap yesterday and whatnot, I had more energy and I was working with NJ on like his letters and and everything like that and numbers and and everything. I, I noticed that he's very um I guess you would say like a visual learner. Like he's great at photos and, and pictures and whatnot. Like he could pretty much say what he thinks something is. <laughs> Speaking of that, really cute moment yesterday. Um so there's these cakes. There's like these mini bunt cakes that I've been just like crazy about lately. And um, the last time I bought some, somehow, even though they was on like the top shelf, somehow, um, it's been it it has been said that NJ was getting them. Um, and I'm like, but it's all the way on top of the thing that's on top of the washing machine. Like, did he climb all the way up there, or did you just eat them, husband? It's one of y'all. <laughs> One of my Dario's uh, attacked my cakes, right? And so I found another place to hide them. And I think NJ found my place. And so yesterday he was like, Mommy, can I have one of your ant heels? <laughs> and at first I'm like, what is he talking about? Um, but I realized he was talking about the cakes. Because, uh, again, they, they're small. And they do look like ant heels when you look at them. That You know, they're bunt cakes. Um... It was just so cute. Like, I also shared on, you know, those that are friends with me on Facebook, you guys saw that I shared this really cute video of him singing um, that little, I don't know how you, <sighs> Skittery Reek song, you know what I mean? Like, Skittery Reek, you think, you think? That song, he was singing that one night, and I just caught, you know, caught a little bit of him doing it. Super cute kid, man. You know, I know we have our moments. I know, you know, my husband and I have our moments where we're talking and trying to figure out, man, are we are we doing good or, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But, you know, he's, he's really, he really is a good kid. And, um, 
you know, and overall thus far, you know, he, he's really good and imaginative and, um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> but I guess I've been reflecting on like my life and reflecting on everything, maybe because of all these different conversations I've been having and again, going on other people's platforms and sharing my testimony and whatnot, um, I guess kind of forces me to think about what God has done for me in my life, right? And so, you know, I thought about that, of course, a little bit yesterday, but then also this morning as well. Um, I know I took some time after the prayer meditation, just kind of reflecting, just thank God for every one that he's placed in my life, everything that he's doing and everything like that. And and two people outside looking in, perhaps, you know, uh, we can always look at someone, right, and, and look at them as perfect, right? We can look at, you know, other people in their life and, and all those different things. Um, something that's came, that came to me um, maybe a year or so ago is that perfection is a fairy tale. Um, and I was thinking about that in regards to my marriage at the time um, because I don't think I am necessarily trying to put the pressure on my husband to be perfect, you know? Um, I understand he's human and I'm human too, so we're probably never going to be perfect. But, um, you know, like I, I tend to say all the time, you know, I do feel like he's perfect for me. And, you know, I know yesterday we were talking about, you know, I said I said that to him and he's like, and you're perfect for me. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I'm glad that he feels that way <laughs> and everything. Um, but I know that we're not perfect, right? I know that we're humans you know, we're flawed and everything like that. Um, and so I guess thinking about that this morning is one of the things that led me to go a little deeper with this conversation about perfection. Um, cause yeah, on one hand, it does feel like perfection is a fairy tale. It feels like it's, it's, I say unattainable, but kind of, you know, sometimes it feels that way. And it's like, well, are we supposed to be perfect? You know? Um, so let's see what the Bible has to say. Let's see what the Bible has to say. So Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 says, Surely there is not a righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. So there you go. Um, you know, there's nobody. I mean, that actually reminds me. Let me go ahead and read Romans 3 and 23. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So, I mean, both that's humbling verses right there. Both of those verses, I, I would say, are humbling verses because... It reminds us that, you know, there's nobody perfect, right? And um, I think when we we get that into our hearts and minds to understand, because, again, we can lift people up and we can sit here and just kind of glorify people and expect people to be perfect when at the end of the day, no, not any of us are perfect. Um, you know, we're all flawed in some way. And so, you know, what do we do about that? Because then I came across this verse right here. It's Matthew 5 and 48. It says, you therefore must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. So it's like, okay, well, Lord, you're perfect, right? And you expect me to be perfect, right? So how does that how does that balance between, you know, what you've already said? You've already established that none of us are perfect. <laughs> um, so how can we be, right? Um, I don't know if it's that we're supposed to be, I think, but we should probably strive for the perfection. Maybe that's you know, how I'm looking at it at this time in my life, but who knows, you know, maybe God is wanting us to be perfect. <laughs> um, but he also has the grace and mercy to, cause he knows that we're not going to be perfect. <laughs> um, it could be a lot there. So I'm sure we all can go deeper with that verse there to get more understanding. The one that says that you therefore must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. But, uh, yeah, keep, let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. So I have another verse. This Philippians 3 and 12. It says, not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. So, I mean, there you go. I mean, again, the only one that was perfect was Jesus, right? Uh, according to the Bible. And so, um, again, we we may never reach that level of perfection. However, the belief in the belief in him as well as well, that, honestly, again, the belief in him is what makes us perfect um, because he did it. Right. So he did it. And then believing in him, according to what God has done in the Bible, at least um, that is what makes us perfect and whatnot. And so, I mean, I'm sure we all can go deeper with all of this and this idea and everything like that. I mean, 
uh, I don't know if I even assisted when it comes to this, this conversation of perfection. Um, I'm just sharing what I went over this morning and what was on my heart and mind to look up and read and, and study. But I mean, hey, y'all go deeper. Let us all go deeper with this. I mean, there's a few verses in the go deeper section for you all to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. But the Bible verse of today is Psalm 119 and 114. It says, Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Do you have an elementary or middle school-aged child that is being bullied at school? Then check out the children's book, I Am Courageous, Standing Against Bullies by Demetria Mays. This story is centered around a little boy named David and his experience with being bullied by Max and his pals. Open up the conversation about bullying with your child today with I Am Courageous, Standing Against Bullies by Demetria Mays, now available on Amazon. Thank you.